okay, that would have been fine if I could have had it on video and speeded up the video a little. <laughs> you know, it just got, a, it, it was basically good, but it was a little slow motion. Okay, so straight line, and let's do one to the right, keeping the pole up, little half hold up, giving, okay. Now, go straight ahead, right now go straight ahead towards C or towards wherever. Now you have passed into that. Okay, now look at, look at yourself in the mirror. Make sure you're facing yourself when you do the first actual turn step. So shorten a little bit and pirouette. Half hold and turn, there. Half hold, oh that's way too big. <laughs> That's a wimpy turn. Come on, now pick a spot, pick a person to which you're riding. Now, I want to pirouette. Be a little gutsy here. To the right. Yeah. Yeah. Half alt. Straight. Yeah. Half alt. Keep turning. Half alt. Smaller. Smaller. Left rein back a little. Smaller. Smaller. There. There. And out. Okay, in your effort to make it quicker, you made it bigger. Okay, so on the wall. The reason I ask you to do it on the wall a lot, everybody, um, as opposed to in the middle of the ring where you do it in your test, is if you start on the wall uh, where you end, you'll be very aware of how big it was. You know, you shouldn't end too, too far from the wall. And once more pirouette right. It doesn't have to be faster, it just shouldn't be slower. Half hold. Okay. Okay. Now, do you know that you should not go back to the wall? You should finish your turn straight and then go back to the wall. Okay? Okay. Now, stay and walk. Put your leg down. Get your spur out of it. Now ride your best walk, and how little spur can you use? I'm not saying you're not allowed to, but you are using it a lot. It's so common in the walk that we override with a leg. And nine times out of ten, when I tell people to use less leg, the walk's as good if not better. Sometimes, somehow we just get a little naggy in the walk. At C canter. Pull up. Okay. Now, I'm going to say to you what I said to Holly earlier. That wasn't as good as it could be, was it? So, why not? Walk. I didn't have him off the leg. Okay, but why not? <laughs> okay, okay, stop a minute. Now let me bring Frankie here. I gave you lots of time, right? Didn't surprise you. You had all this time to make sure this sucker was ready so that you had the very best darn Canada part you could have. You allowed it to be not terrible, but it wasn't the best you could do. And why are we practicing not the very best we can do? So, canter at P. And I want a super duper fabulous Canada part. Shorten the canter. 
and shorten, 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 and go. Uh, and shorten, distinctly shorten. That took too long, and go. And again, right back, short, 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 and go. Good. Across the diagonal, and I want you to shorten him three or four times. Don't make me tell you. That was downhill. Do you know you ended up on the other lead? I kind of felt something. Okay, what's wrong? I hate to say this to you, but someone that rides as well as you should be able to tell your leads. <laughs> okay, count a count. Okay, that was crooked and shorten. Shorten and forward. Kind of a dumb boy moment. Uh, 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 uh. Sit to the left, right leg back. Good, good. And straight and change. Straight. Now, all those little shortenings we just did, those very obvious shortenings, I want you to do little bitty ones that I can just barely see about every fourth or fifth stride. Little ones. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah, not too much. I want to be able to see it, but if the UPS guy came in here, I don't want him to be able to see it. Oh, that one was downhill, wasn't it? Up, a little bit upness, little upness with your arms. Don't pull, be pulling back. Activate a little. Make him sit a little. Activate a little. Yeah, collect just a little. Yeah. Good. Yeah. A little bit uphill. At R of Volte, we're only doing one, and it better not make him put his chin on his chest. Okay, that was very small, but, but well done. Okay, and let's trot. Uh, I'm not sure what a volte is. It's, 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 a, it's a circle of 10 meters or less. Okay, a large circle and let's let him stretch down a bit. Not to mention about when they're schooling, you 
know, so that they can be that invisible when they're riding. And, uh, you know, you've got a nice cab, but it can be more active, it can be more uphill, it can be more engaged, you know. And you've got to keep challenging them pretty much non-stop. I don't mean every single stride, but, but you know, it isn't I challenge them a little and then I miss. So <laughs> that's part of it. Part of it is not going to be ready on your face about having him uphill. Or having him uphill. Uphill. Yeah, not having him too deep, which is really tricky with him. Um, the, the, the concept of sitting towards your half pass. Uh, and um, then the idea of generally, I give people plenty of time. Now, if people take too long to get their horses organized, then I start saying, now, snap with that, um, and challenging you to be more prompt. But I don't want to see these silly little mistakes that shouldn't happen in the You know, when you're learning something, you make those mistakes. You know how to do a walk again. So I expect to. 